Hey, good morning. Welcome to another another edition of the Corey Dean Show. I'm glad you joined me. If you want to reach out to me and you want to make contact, it is Corey Dean, C R E Y Dean at Gmail. Corey Dean Show at Gmail. Um, Corey Dean Show at Gmail dot com. You can find me uh, C N M News C N M uh, Charlie Nancy Mary C N M News N E W Z dot com is the website cnmnews.com uh, you can catch all my editions there you can find me on Spreaker um, at the Corey Dean Show um, everything is available all my Bible studies are available there so I'm glad that you're here and uh, this morning we're going to do a uh, little Ephesians 3 uh, 20 and 21 And we're going to talk about God's works within us. Let's read together Ephesians 3, 20 and 20, 21. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations. Need to be over a little bit if I don't want that to smush my head, don't I? Um... Let's let those. Let's try that again. Let's let those words sink in from Ephesians three twenty. Um, able the words able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think. What an amazing description of God's ability to work within His followers. Um, I think of a lot of life that that we try and put our constructs and our constrictions on our thought patterns and how we view God and God's work. Um, that he is, he's able to do things beyond what we are even able to grasp or comprehend. Um, and so often we focus on what we want him to do around us because of those constructs and those constrictions. Um, but he invites us to think bigger and to ask bigger. He wants to change us. We're not going to change him. The Lord has a purpose for your life, and he is constantly working to achieve it. Although the Father has unique plans for each one of his children, everybody's different. He also has a goal of conforming every believer to the image of Jesus Christ. In order to accomplish this, he may have to bring us through some struggles, and heartaches. It might make no sense to us, but God knows exactly what he's doing. Spiritual fruit takes time to grow and mature, and that's why we need patience and faith to believe he is working, even when we don't see the results right away. And we don't see those results right away because we're looking through the eyes of those constrictions. We want to see our results. That's what's important to us, our results. God is never in a hurry, and uh, but he won't ever give up on us either in, in that battle. What would you like to see the door, Lord do with you or within you? Does he need to change your mind? Does he need to change your thinking? Does he need to change your focus? As you read the scriptures, look for qualities that God considers precious, not qualities that man considers precious, and ask him to work them out in your life, his qualities. Lord, give me discernment. Lord, give me faith. Those are his qualities, and those are things that if we ask, he will give abundance because he wants us to know. He wants us to be good warriors for him. Then rely on this wonderful promise that he'd do even more than what you asked and what you imagined because that is the Lord that we worship. I'm glad that you joined me today, and I hope we see you again. Peace.